Hello guys, welcome to Brick Boy, the show review like I said, and today we got a the Hero Factory set. It's ages 6 to 16, set number 2067, 31 pieces. It is Evo 2.1. Uh, again, I have uh, all the Hero Factory 2011 sets, and uh, if you don't know, I'm having this little music thing where if uh, you guess the music that is in my videos, or it is in this video, and three videos, three Lego videos for now, uh, I'll shout you out. Uh, I give I get more in depth to it on my Jildo's review, which I already posted. Uh, so yeah, that's the song. Let's get on to the box. I haven't done this in a while. Not counting the Jildo's video. Uh, all the the tops for the boxes are orange. Uh, name or not the uh, series Hero Factory. Uh, info name little code thing. Yeah, on the inside of the lid, there is a code, but I'm not going to show it to you. Yourfactory.com. Uh, pointless. Uh, as you can see, there is a combination model, which I like. If you can find combined Evo and uh, Ferno 2.0, you can create this beast of a character. Uh, I will be making that once I find instructions. Okay, that's actual size of the core. And that's the box. Again, it's the same box as in all the other... As in the Bionicle Stars and the other Hero Factories. Uh, so here's the feet. Uh, due to the placement of the armor and the place or the foot mold, you can flex the foot around very well. Very nice. And uh, the armor again is very strange. Like like you have this ball uh, here, right here, and then you connect this like one area to there. It it just doesn't really make any sense. And then, uh, on, there's all, all the characters come with one, like, I call it the signed piece. It has, like, some cool design and their name, Evo 2.0. I think if you look at that very small purple text, you can kind of see his name. Well, really? I have no idea what that says, really. It kind of looks like Evo 2.0, but it's hard to tell. So here's the chest. Take off this piece. And see, that's the chest area. And this is, there's this piece which goes on, like, that. And he, if you haven't noticed, he comes with very cool purple pieces, like the purple hero core. It's a nice little core. Uh, oh, pulled off his head. His head is designed, it's kind of like the Glatorian head. Uh, as you can see, much uh, less, it falls off much easier. I'd like to show you how the head is actually built. Ow. Uh... Here are the three pieces. First you have the, uh, the Gatorian style head. It has this kind of like two studs right there and a more realistic and regular face. Then you have kind of the, uh, the accessory or gear face, equipment face, piece, not face. You put that on top of there and then you have like this helmet skull cap type piece that you put on top of that. It's just designed very strangely like the rest of this thing. And that head is purple. And the last purple piece is this one little spike with this giant armor piece. Uh, and a four-fingered hand. It's not the regular three-fingered Glatorian hand. It's four fingers now, which is nice. And on this side, we have a smaller armor piece. Uh, so here is the, uh, the weapon. Very nice weapon. Uh, it's got these pieces right there. And then this cool new piece, which kind of looks like a... Uh, Paraka foot. I don't know if you can use it as a foot. You might be able to. Uh, has two spears right here. They aren't the regular mini figure spears. They're actually rubber. I think it's like the exact same plastic mold, but it's just rubber now. I don't see the point of it. They really could have just used the other one. I mean, they, they could have just used regular spears. They kind of slip in like that. You can also put them right here. But that they use that for some of the other sets. So yeah, that's a uh, Evo detailed look. And now let's go into the details. Not a detailed look, but kind of the other things. Uh, size. Very, very nice size. He's very large for $8 compared to some of the others. Like, let me compare him to a Stormer 1.0, I guess to say. He's actually officially called 1.0. But, uh, you know, the one that's not 2.0. To compare them back to back, if I can stand them up. Evo is definitely taller, 
and bulkier than a Stormer. Uh, all the 2010 heroes were kind of the same size, so I, yeah, definitely much bigger figure. Uh, articulation, again, incredibly superior. As you can see, there's only one joint here, just like that, 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 and that. That's all you could do. But with this swap, you can, there's actually two joints. Two joints, look at this. I was hoping they'd do this. This is very good. I, I was kind of annoyed that they only had one joint and you could barely do anything, really. But now you can just flex them all around and get them to do most anything, really. Let's see the arm. Now it can go, like, all the way over here. Well, the other arms could, like, just go nowhere, really, like in the 2011s. You yeah. Incredible articulation, uh, except for the head, kind of. You can't really twist it much that way, but if you lift it up, then you can. So, articulation, really good. Uh, let's see. Uh, cool factor. Very high on the cool factor. Evo is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, and also, he's a new hero. He's not upgraded version. He's, a, he's the original Evo, and even though he has 2.0 in his name. Very lo cool looking. Very nice design. I really like Evo's look. Looks very nice. Very bulky. And very well designed. Uh, mocking pieces. Uh, Evo's probably one of the best for mocking pieces, again. Because he has a lot of purple, and yellow is definitely good. The signed piece. Uh, the rubber. Spears. The paraka like foot. The hand. The feet. Uh, the signed piece. The core. A lot of cool pieces that come with him. He's not much better than the others, but he's still good. Uh, let's see. What's the last one? Oh yeah, play value. Play value is great. Very good play value. Again, great flex flexibility. That's kind of where I put the articulation into a play value. Uh, he has lots of looks and, uh, not really looks, but he can do lots of things and, uh, very cool character who you could play with very well. Or not, you could uh, get the most out of him when you play with him, I guess you should say. Uh, so, size, 3.5 out of 10, out of 5. 3.5 out of 5. Uh, let's see. Cool factor, 4 out of 5. Mocking pieces, 3.5 out of 5. Uh, and play value, uh, 3.5 out of 5. So, I'm just gonna go with a 8.5 out of 10. Evo is definitely one of the coolest. I definitely recommend you go out and get him, along with all the other sets. I will see you next time for uh, another hero. Again, the schedule is a uh, villain, hero, hero, villain, hero, hero, villain, hero, hero, villain, and then that's that's all the sets. So I'll see you next time for another hero. Goodbye.